a template of filmmaking that we are all very well aware of but if executed well gives us a film like Portoril. everyone welcome to my channel guys and uh, recently i watched the tamil film Poor Thoril which is directed by the debutant director Vignesh Raja and it stars Ashok Selvan, R. Sarath Kumar and Nikhila Vimal. Before the release of this film I had reacted to the trailer as well and to my surprise there were certain shots which kind of freaked me out and with this intent and how the treatment looked in the trailer I was quite excited for the release of the movie and I was very happy that this released here even though there was only one show but thankfully it had subtitles. Now this movie is a combination of two things an investigative drama where you're looking for the serious killer and second it's also a buddy cop film so along with solving the case we also see the journey and the arcs of the protagonist that is Ashok Selvan and Sarat Kumar now on one hand we have Sarat Kumar's character who is an extremely skilled cop he's street smart he has a lot of experience he's a lone wolf the other end of the spectrum is Ashok Selvan's character who is fresh out of training but he's extremely book smart even though he has a little bit of fear inside him he's low on confidence so of course when you are putting poles opposite personality personalities in the same team to solve a case obviously there's going to be conflict and that has been tackled really well in this film now i will try to keep the spoilers at the minimum because i personally do not want to give anything out because if you have not watched the film it will take the mystery out now if i specifically talk about the writing i loved how both ashok's character and sarath kumar's characters have been carved out both of them bring a lot to the table even if they have conflicting opinions but while solving the case they get to know about each other's personality and why they are like this slowly slowly you see that there's a mutual admiration that develops between both of them and I liked how the entire thing was extremely organic so by the end of the film you root for both of them another interesting aspect in the writing which I kind of observed is that for Ashok's character we are pretty much clear on what is his background like why did he become a cop why he is low on confidence and how his journey overall has been on the other hand in Sarath Kumar's case we have a little bit of idea that what would have happened to him but it is never clarified so you kind of see the contrast between both the characters through this also and i thought to myself that was some really good writing to kind of show the personalities of both the characters like how one likes to open up and another one is quite closed off one of the best written and directed scenes in the film for me was when sarath kumar tries to explain the psyche of the serial killer to ashok the glimpse is also there in the trailer where you see ashok is kneeling down in the forest and sarath kumar is kind of you know pushing his forehead up that entire scene of how the serial killer must be thinking while killing its victims was just so well written and well directed also well acted so this is one aspect of the writing the relationship between both the cops the other aspect is obviously the investigation i quite enjoyed how the mystery sort of unfolds because you might be thinking okay the serial killer is identified the serial killer is caught okay so what else do we have in store but i liked how there was a little bit of surprise for us in this story in the climactic sequence. The only thing probably I did not really like about the writing is how Nikhila Wimmel's character was written, like she was barely there and uh, I could guess, I could guess how her character is going to end up. Like I, I made that guess before the interval itself. I was quite proud of myself for guessing it, but I mean, it was pretty obvious, I think. Second is the comedy scenes. I mean, it's okay, I guess, to have some comedic relief, but even if it was not there, I would have been fine with that because I was more interested in the investigation. So if you really like the addition of those comedy scenes, I mean, it's fine. Honestly, it's nothing to really crib about, but it could have been avoided as per my opinion. For a debut film, I would say Vignesh Raja has done a fabulous job because there are not only attention to details given into the writing and all the character arcs, but into the technical aspects as well. I was particularly impressed with the cinematography because a lot of shots, you feel that it's like a theater setup. There is minimal camera movements. There are not much dynamic shots, which I really appreciated. Because the first thing which comes in your mind, okay, it's an investigative thriller. So to make it edge of the seat, you will have a lot of dynamic 
shots but that's not the case here and it kind of gives the film a different kind of nuance and seriousness and depth so the cinematography was amazing and then coming to the edit as well as the color grading that was also quite impressive this movie is extremely dialogue heavy especially in the investigative part where you know there's a lot of history and backstory being told and one has to really really concentrate so the way the movie got edited and uh, the context was presented to us it could have gotten messy but the editing was done quite smartly and the background score during the trailer reaction only i said that okay it's not like the typical thriller background score which is very very dramatic it's more on the horrorish side and throughout the film you really really get this haunting feeling there is a little bit of a typical comical background score but ignoring that majority of the score is really beautifully done lastly the performances because i said that this movie is quite dialogue heavy there's a lot of information that has been given to us so everybody and especially ashok selvan and sarath kumar did their jobs fabulously nikhil did not have much screen time so i was not emotionally connected to the character that much as i was with ashok selvan and sarat kumar's characters in the end i would just say that you might have seen this template being followed in various investigative dramas various investigative thrillers but the execution and the world building where i was completely invested in what is going to happen well at the end of the day that matters the most if the director is able to immerse me into that world then it's job well done and in this case he did so yes if you really really like investigative thrillers then please do catch this film it will definitely be your cup of tea and yeah that was my review those were my thoughts uh, please if you have watched it let me know your thoughts below in the comments and with that i will end this video here and i will see you soon on my next one bye